What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Daily Dose of Dom Galore. Today, we is doing a two by six closure install, and I'm answering some questions y'all have for me. First fucking question, actually. People always be like, why we don't ever see your hair? Why we don't ever see your hair? Because I'm fucking bald head. People always be like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not bald head. Yes, I am. Like, I would take a clipper to my fucking head and shave my shit off. That's it. That's all. Why I don't ever show my head? Because I don't want no fucking screenshot pictures of me on the internet with my bald head. Okay? That's the fucking reason why. This install will be a quick weave because I need this shit done quick. The fuck? I'm lazy as fuck. But everybody always asks, what is my real name? I don't mind sharing my real name. Like, it's not a fucking secret. I just don't like when people who don't know me call me my real name. Because I'm when somebody says my real name or the nickname I had when I was in high school, I feel like you were at a place in my life where basically you know, you know me from a certain time period. And I kind of, I low key, I don't respect people more when they know me from like back then. But I do. I just think that they've seen my come up more than other people. So I just don't like to call me my real name. But it's, it's not a secret that my name is Danielle. My name is Danielle. That's, that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Oh, where did I get Diamond from? No, that is not my fucking middle name. Diamond is not my middle name. I think Kilo Chitty person is from Beach Block. Diamond is not my middle name. Just hold on. <laughs> so this two by six closure, what you wanna do before you like lay it down and stuff, you're gonna cut off these sides, okay? The part that's gonna be laying flat on your forehead, you're gonna cut all the way down from that fucking side. So I'm gonna just do that real quick. So basically, when I was in a sophomore in high school, I just came up with the name, like that was my Twitter handle. My Twitter hand handle was Diamonds Galore um, underscore or whatever. So, now I just made that all my handles. Instagram, when Instagram came out, I made that my handle. Everything was just diamonds below underscore. So I remember I was with my homegirl Precious, and we was just walking in the mall. We would catch a train to the mall, being not buying a damn thing, just being cute. No, we was looking for outfits. We was looking for outfits for um for our performance or whatever. This is probably like my junior year, junior maybe even senior year. And I didn't know people thought my name was Diamond based off social media. I never knew people thought my name was fucking Diamond. So, yeah, one time we was in the mall, this dude was like, hey, hey, ain't your name Diamond? And that's when I realized, oh, <laughs> people think my name is fucking Diamond. I, I didn't put two and two together. It never equaled four to me at all. It equals fucking 1,047. But did my dumb ass gave my fake name a nickname. Why? To this day, I have no idea. I don't know why I just started calling myself Dom. Like, bitch, who do you think, who do you, think you are? Give me, give me your fucking fake name, a nickname. But now, I'm Dom Galore. Short for Diamonds Galore. And Diamonds Galore is long for a name I came up with in fucking high school. That's really it. That's all. So when you cut it, it's going to end up looking like this. You see how it's like, yeah. Because this is the part that's going to be glued down towards the back. While this other part is going to be... All the way the fuck down here. Okay. First, you want to um, glue down um, this cap. Basically, right now, I'm just basically sending all of these hairs to the back. So that when I lay it down, the, the hairs don't get tangled up in the glue when I glue the shit down. So, I think I'm just going to cut this out right here. But, like, leave it, like... I use glue instead of Gossip Beauty because Gossip Beauty really do not hold down a fucking cap. It don't. And it's still turning crusty and it makes it come up. So you might as well just glue down the fucking cap. Honestly, truly. So I'm just going to do it like this. Okay. We're going to just take some lace tint instead of using some uh, makeup. Because I don't like using my makeup on my hair. <laughs> No, yeah, no, yeah, no, and that looks good, right? Right. Um, then I'm gonna take my lace tint and also spray down my 
closure. It's only gonna be a middle part, so all you gotta do is literally just spray it the edges and down the middle, but it's a little fucking piece of lace. They sprayed all of it. The first question. How long was your business open and running before you got to the point you are now? I love this question because everybody be feeling like when you have a business, that it's just gonna be good as soon as it's fucking open. There's no, I never knew that I was gonna get to this point. Like, I know that's like sound crazy, I never knew. Like, I knew one day I was gonna be like a rich and millionaire daddy. But I never thought that like, these hair kits was gonna be what do it. I thought I was gonna like sell hair and take off with my own um, hair selling business, blah, blah, blah. I thought that's how it was gonna be. I, I truly did. Well, let me shut the fuck up real quick, hold on. Cause we gotta, we gotta get this together. We gotta solidify the part real quick. So I'm basically just gonna take this on top of my head like this, right? Open it up. Open it up like that, right? And then I'ma just straighten it out so I can still see the middle part. And you're gonna put, you see my um, cap star right here. I don't know if you can tell because of the, how good the lace didn't work. But I'm gonna, I like to hide my forehead because my forehead big as fuck. Bitch, I am not Rihanna's kid. Also, I wish I was money on it. But I am not fucking Rihanna's kid, but the forehead doesn't think so. It says you are a part of the Navy, bitch. So I'm gonna literally pull it all the way down here. See if it's in the middle. Gotta make sure it's in the middle before you fucking glue it down. Gotta make sure. Is that the middle? We're all saying yes, right? Yeah, that's the middle, girl. That's the middle, girl. That's the middle. Right, now let's try to add the glue. So, I started my business in 2016, technically. But my business was originally, bitch, was originally Dom Galore Hair. So, I basically, I was selling hair out of my dorm room and out of my uh, first apartment off campus. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, everybody was selling, um, hair around that time, but not a lot of people in St. Louis, honestly, not a lot of people were doing lace fronts. I was doing lace fronts, like, I had just started, but I was doing, like, lace fronts and stuff like that. Like, damn, I already do, I already do her. I might as well sell it, too. Like, that was literally my, my thoughts, like, I might as well sell to her, because I already do the shit, you know? I think I got about a good, like, good five orders, um, bundles. That was pretty cheap, because, like, I didn't want to, like, overprice it. Cause I was just like starting off. So I think off of like three bundles and like a closure that was like already a hundred and some dollars on AliExpress, I probably made like $40 off each, everything I sold. That ain't shit, right? <laughs> like I made $40 off every time I sold something. Not a damn thing basically. You guys see how I just did that? I went ahead and glued it down. Although it still needs to be, um, I actually think that's a little too low. My forehead, no, that should be fine. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. This little melting band and put it on there. So what you're gonna do next is take this and flip it down. You need to see, be able to see. You're gonna flip it down like this, right? You're gonna take your glue. You're gonna take your bottle of glue. This one's not open. You're gonna take your bottle of glue and you're gonna go along the sides. Like these little sides right here, you're gonna go along the side. So we got that all glued the fuck down. Let's, let's take this off. Wait, wait, wait. So yeah, basically when I started selling hair kits, that was 2020. Um, it was right during the pandemic and stuff like that. It was during the pandemic or whatever, whatever. And um, basically somebody asked me to help them with their hair. I did. She said it worked. I said, fuck it. I'm going to start selling the kits as a whole. And then when I started selling them as a whole, they did good. 
literally the first time I posted them, they sold out. I was like, oh yeah, this is a banger. I got a banger with this one. And then it was something that nobody was doing. So, but my um, target audience um, first started off was um, shit. It, I didn't really have a target audience, it, but it was like, hey, I want something cute that's like luxurious and like you got a cute little travel bag and come in a money bag, which is that's cute as fuck. Like you got something that come in a money bag. That's cute as fuck. So that's what I ended up doing, and that was 2020. It is now 2024, and I made my first um, six figures at one time in 2023, the beginning of 2023. So that's, that means it took me three years. It took me three years for my business to actually take off how I wanted to, but it was a lot going on through it. But I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna get to this point where it's consistent. But 2024 is when I become a millionaire for, of all of it. So eventually I get to say, yeah, it took me four years to become a millionaire. But I feel like if I didn't have a lot of the, the distractions I've been had, I would have been here. But it took all those lessons to get all these blessings. So I'm super excited about that. So now what we're going to do, right? This is all twisted up, right? Right. So what I'm going to do is cut this cap off. And then we're gonna put a black cap on top of this. So it's gonna be all on top of this. Okay, so I put the black cap on after cutting off the nude cap. And then we're just going to, I was gonna like double the caps up. I still don't know if I wanna do that, like add two caps. That way when I take off the wig, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna double up on the caps. Just so it could be like thicker. Cause basically, cause I'm bald head, it has, the glue has nothing to stick to. So I don't have to use the um, protector, the, where the fuck's that protector at? Basically there's some protector, y'all know the fucking protector, y'all know the protector, y'all bitch. The, the late, the fucking quick weave protector. I don't have to use that because when I take my wig off, it's gonna come off, my, when I take my quick weave off, it's gonna come off as a wig. So that's perfect. But yeah, I just doubled up on it and now we're gonna start gluing the tracks in. So like it says in the description, I am using this pink lemon hair. I know a lot of people have been like trying this pink lemon hair for a new beauty supply. I got a 26, 28, 30 inch, and I also got a 24 inch bundle that's still also pink lemon. Make sure y'all know, I ain't doing no shady shit. That's also pink lemon. Cause I like my shit real full and thick. Plus I have a photo shoot this weekend for my ebook. Ooh. I'm having an ebook about business, how to become a great entrepreneur. Not a good entrepreneur, not a cheap entrepreneur, a real good ass entrepreneur. But okay. so I'm gonna start off with the 30 inch bundle. And we're gonna wait, let me see, let me talk about that as I open it up with a question. Okay. Oh, a great question. What can we expect this year from you? So what y'all can expect from me this year is honestly a lot of traveling um, out the country at that. A lot of traveling, a lot of um, business stuff. Like y'all gonna see me doing a lot of new things. I feel like when a lot of people like start uh, making money off their business, they get comfortable with the money they made off the business that they don't um, continue to do to venture out and to do new things to try new things. Because when you get money, you want you don't want to keep using that money on the same. Um, well, you want to keep like boosting up your business, but you want to add more to it so it shows versatility. Because even though this hits one audience, this could hit a second wave of audiences. So you want to always keep doing things. So I do have an ebook coming out. It's a business ebook on how to basically run a business or how to start a business, to run your business, the things you have to go through, the things that will happen. It's not just no boss brunch. I hate a boss brunch ass ebook. Uh, believe me yourself, work hard, you'll get to where you want. I hate that shit so fucking bad. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna start off with this, but that's what y'all can expect. Y'all can expect a lot of more um, content, doing basic stuff like cleaning, getting ready. I should be on Instagram more. Like a lot of me and daughter stuff, a lot of like, um, just a lot more of me. I don't think I ain't gonna expect this no motherfucking man. But let's let's start this. Yeah, I'm recording a TikTok at the same time, so hold on. <laughs> let's see how long this 30 inch is. If I start it off right here, this is a long that the 30 inches. Where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I don't really like to think that far on. Like, I, I'm not a person who likes to 
to talk about the future much, honestly. I like living in like maybe what I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna do next month, within the next three months. I don't even like to see what I'm doing for a whole year. That's why the vision board thing is not a thing for me. But like, I like to just go with the flow. Like, I feel like when you plan out how your life is gonna go and it don't go that way, it creates a negative mindset on, oh, I didn't, I must didn't do something right because I'm not where I wanna be. You know, and I feel like that, that negative connotation happens a lot to people. They be like, oh, well, I'm gonna do this, but I, like, I don't like looking that far. I, I just know I'm be a millionaire. I'm, I'm gonna have millions of dollars. I'm gonna be giving back. I'm gonna be just making, doing things I never expected to do and teaching my daughter. Like, for five years from now, my daughter's gonna be nine years old. My daughter's gonna be nine years old five years from now. But no, she's only 10. Cause she turned five this year. What the fuck? What the fuck? But yeah, five years from now, I'll be what? I'm 20, I'm gonna be 27. Damn, I'll be 32. God damn. But yeah, I don't really like to, to judge, um, to plan my life. Cause I, I could be doing a lot of things five years from now. One thing I ain't gonna have five is a Rolls Royce. My 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 dream car, I want a Rolls Royce. And a Rolls Royce is almost a half a million dollar car. God damn. So basically I'm just like taking these pieces and I'm gonna measure it out. I do I cut my shit. I keep it doubled up too. I don't I don't do it singularly. I keep it doubled up and I just glue it as a double. For the 30 bundle, I'm gonna do it straight to the back, but as I go to the, the 28, I'm it's gonna come around to the front like that. But the 30 inch I want it straight to the back. So I'm just gonna do it side by side and I'm gonna glue it down. First bundle in. You know, see that? I like the twinkle in her so far. The one thing about this I can't say is that I will not know if it's shed for real because it's glued in. Basically, like when you do quick weaves, it's kind of like gluing the wefts together so that it won't shed. Yes, daughter? They have two of them. Yeah, two of them. You want us to come say hi to YouTube? Mm, yeah. You sure? You don't have to. Okay. I think. Is hungry too. The zebra hungry? What do the zebras eat? I think he wants some nothing. Some nothing? No. You gonna eat him or feed the zebra? No, why don't you feed him? Yeah, because if you don't feed him, he's gonna die. <laughs> speaking of the next question, I don't think I was speaking of the next question. I forgot my train of thought. But the next question is Where is your baby father? And why are y'all not together? And whoever asked me that question, y'all don't even, y'all don't, y'all don't listen to me. Cause y'all would know already. Um, me and my baby mama, I call him baby mama because the bitterness be up there at times. But me and my baby mama are not together because I felt like he was honestly my biggest hater. Like it's crazy, like when you are like on social media, and like the way you make money in social media. Now, I wasn't only just making money on social media at first. First it was just wig installs. I was doing hair. I was like, at one point my own um, baby daddy was like, I don't like that you do hair in the house. Like I don't like the people know our address. Okay, cool. Yeah, when I stopped doing hair and made more money selling kits, now it was, then it was, all you do is pack orders. Like, why can't you like have a real job? Like basically, basically where I go to work and not at home all day. Cause like when you at home all day and you don't be doing nothing, but you can be uh, like cleaning and cooking, blah, blah, blah. You think I'm gonna clean and cook and I pay half the bills in this bitch? You think that's gonna be my job to clean, cook, do laundry, and take care of the kid while you're just in the basement doing work on a laptop? No. So it's, it's just crazy how when people think entrepreneurship is so easy, people think content creating is so easy. Like he used to be, upset that I was basically making money but to him I was doing a bare minimum so he felt he was working so hard he felt he was just working so hard and I was doing basically nothing but still making more money than him and I think from a man's standpoint they really can't believe that there is a way to make money I just think he didn't know that his life would basically revolve around his baby mama imagine being Don Galore's baby daddy no one knows your name 
No one knows what you do. No one knows who you are. But in that, your baby mom is down the Lord. So that's what you're always be. And I think he knew that. He knew that from college. Like, I was popping. I've been popping since high school. I'm not going to lie to you. I've been popping since I was in high school. I was popping in college. I was popping before he even he knew who I was, before he even knew who he was. Because that's just how it was. Like, I was just already on my shit, doing my shit, being who I am. Like, I was always this loud. I was always so ghetto. I was always, I didn't have, I didn't have my own business since 2016. I was doing hair since 2013. So, like, I was already known. I think, like, dudes would love the thought of you. But they won't actually like who you are. Then they try to change you. They try to change you. It's like they want to be a part of your life so they can be as known as you. They want to be you. They want to have the cloud. Like he was in a fraternity. They want to have the cloud. I didn't. I didn't need that. I didn't need a sorority to to make me a better person. I didn't need a lot of the shit to make me who I am today. And I feel like it was always a bitterness inside of him to be like, "Wow, she has all this. She's doing all of this." And I'm still like at a standpoint, and I was okay with it. Like as as a woman who knows like that college is hard, and in college you gotta you gotta wait to find a job, blah blah. blah. I didn't have to do that, y'all. I didn't have to wait on college to uh, wait on my degree in order to become something in life. But I understood that as somebody I was growing with, as somebody who I had a child with, somebody I, I felt at one point I truly loved. But at one point, you got to realize you didn't love the person. You loved the potential of that person. Okay. So, I people are like, are you ever going to get back with him? No. <laughs> no. People are like, what about a two-parent household? I don't give a damn about a two-parent household. The two-parent household was toxic. The two When you, when you have your own um, child covering her ears so she could stop hearing fucking screaming and yelling. When you like, no. Just no. You know, when, when your baby baby father is talking shit about you around their kid with with their siblings and stuff, no. Just no. And my life has been completely better. That's why I'm saying when you drop certain people, like I can't even imagine where I would be in life right now if I didn't, if I was not with him. I thought I would be so much further in life at a, at a younger age, but I had that, that person holding me back, y'all. You know when somebody's a hater, friend, family spouse you know when somebody is a fucking hater but you don't want to believe you don't want somebody that you feel like is supposed to love you secretly fucking hates you you don't want to feel like that or whatever so um i would never be one they're like where is he he's still at his grandma's house ever since we broke it up that's why one thing i think when you go and move in with a man when y'all go move with a man or move in with a woman or whatever the case may be you want to make sure you can afford whatever rent that is being paid on your own. My baby mama thought, didn't know. My baby mama never knew how much. He didn't figure out how much money. That's, that was a little bit the, the point where I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna be with this man anymore. Christmas. Christmas 2022, before we officially broke up in, did we break up in 2023 or 2022? Oh, we broke up in 2021. Well, no, it was Christmas 2021. And basically I had bought myself a $4,000 Dior bag. And every time I would buy something, he would look it up. He would look up to see how much it costs every time I bought something. So I guess he looked up the bag, saw how much it cost. He felt like he didn't have to give me anything for Christmas because basically for that Christmas, I wanted um, everybody to just give me money for inventory, blah, 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 for my hair kits, blah, blah, blah. And um, he didn't want to do that. He said that that was selfish. I don't need the money for every tour. So why do I want money? Basically, he didn't want to. He wanted to be cheap with the gift. It's easy to buy somebody a cheap gift. It could be nice, but it could be cheap. So he wants to go the nice, cheap route. And he knew that if he had to give me money, he felt like it had to be a lot. He basically knew that the amount of money he was going to give me was the amount of money he was spending on me for Christmas. And he didn't want to do that. He wanted to be able to get me a gift. And mind y'all, I said this. I said, if y'all haven't got me nothing for um, Christmas yet, y'all can just give me money. I told this to everybody. This is like, this is probably like six, six, five or six days before Christmas. So Christmas is close and you haven't gotten me anything. So he hadn't gotten me anything yet for Christmas. What does that say? 
that that speaks of it values itself. And every Christmas, I was the one getting his um his um sister something. I was the one getting his grandparents stuff. I was the one getting his mama stuff. Every Christmas that came along, he never got anything for his siblings, for his grandma, or nothing. It was me getting stuff for them because I was appreciative of the care that was taken of my daughter. And I feel like that's it's important to show that. But he couldn't show that because he had no fucking money. So like. I would do it. Like, I would literally sit there and do it. But when he got his big boy job, and I wasn't still getting anything, and I was, um, still... Hello, Hello baby. Mine is dry, but it just got it out because he got blood in it. Your it lip? Just, no. It, it just got it out. It just got what out? He got... My lip is bleeding, but it just got it out now. Your lip was bleeding? Yeah. It's because it was dry? Yeah. Do you need some um Vaseline? No. I think you may need some Vaseline, my love. I think it's dry already. You Touch need, it. Touch it. The blood is dry, but you need some Vaseline so it won't bleed again. Okay. Okay, you want to get some Vaseline real quick? Yep. Okay. Got my girl Ash and lips together. <laughs> the um thing about um being around kids, like you never want to talk bad about your um baby, your your baby father around kids. Cause kids don't grow up and see for themselves who, what parent was the problematic one, what parent does X, Y, and Z. Cause me and my sister saw that with my mom and daddy. So never talk shit around kids. But um, that's why I refer to him as baby mama. Cause when I put the word dad in there, she knows I'm talking about her daddy. So I call him baby mama because of that. But, um, and cause he's better. But yeah, so basically that Christmas is what did it. And like, he didn't know how much money I was making. So the rent, um, when he likes like, well, he's like, well, I move out. I was like, okay. So you want to encourage rent yourself? Okay, I'm not paying nothing. Okay. Not knowing like he never knew how much money I had. He definitely when I got my BMW, he was like, You got a BMW, BMW you got a beamer? Yeah. Fuck. Fuck at me, yeah. Like, uh, not only even a shit on him way, because this is what I wanted, but it's just like stuff do not be worth the the hassle. So I just thank God I'm out of debt. Um but we were never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever, never, ever. It's going to be always fuck my baby mama. Even if it's not in a negative way, it's still fuck my baby mama. But like, I can sing both versions. Fuck my baby daddy and fuck my baby mama. Hey. hey, this is the part of the install that you have to come all the way up to the Rudy to the Tootie. That's what's gonna make it, give it that full look and not make it look like a ugly ass install. Like you gotta pull it all the way up, basically, to make it not give an ugly ass install. And then after we bring it all the way up, that's when we're gonna um cut the cap. Am I single? And if I am, am I dating? I am single, I am not dating. I feel like that dating is, well, I feel like I don't, I honestly just don't find anybody work dating. I don't find anybody fucking work dating, y'all. Like, I'm going to be honest. I feel like if I am with someone, I am supposed to, or they, I want them to make more money than me. Because I want a romantic, rich, generous man. I I would never, everybody I've ever dated has had less money than me. I've had niggas act like they got fucking money. But I've never actually dealt with someone who had um, more money than me that can honestly like gift me and treat my love language as a gift gift. I don't care what nobody say. What about the, what about things he can do for you mentally, emotionally, spiritually? A man who has less money than me cannot teach me anything. And I, I don't know if that sounds shallow. I don't know if that sounds I am an entrepreneur. I am an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm not, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm somebody, I'm a go-getter. I am a hustler. So it only makes sense to be with somebody with the same mindset. Not someone that potentially could have the same mindset. Not someone who's trying. Not someone who wants to be a go-getter, but don't have the right mindset. I just feel like a man who actually is really about his money don't, wouldn't be like even dating someone that has less than them. Honestly, like, I don't feel like a man who's truly that wants good for his woman and that wants 
I don't I don't know. Like I just I just can't date anyone who has less than me. It, it makes no sense. Cause what can I'm not gonna split the bills. And then if you're paying the bills, if, if you have less than me, but you're paying all the bills, that means you have nothing left for dates and to to travel and to to buy like nice things with. So and I want I want me and my person to I want us to match fly so bad. I just I I really do like I want it to be a like I just want it to be to, to, to be the two fly motherfuckers. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, I want us to look good doing everything together. Like, and maybe I'm asking for too much. It be seeming like it. Like, well, it be seeming like I be asking for too much. Oh, I think that's too close. I think that's way too close. It don't be seeming like I'm asking for too much. But I just, or I, it's either I'm asking for too much, or it's just really niggas out here that's not doing nothing. It's it's one or the other. One or, one or the other. I can't date anybody from my city. I refuse to ever caught in the likes of a St. Louis man. Even if that St. Louis man moved out of town. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't date somebody. People be like, people be like, oh, what if you date somebody um out of town and then you find out they the whole of they city. Shit, as long as they ain't the whole of my city, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. As long as they are not the whole of my city, I can't lie to you. Don't even mind. I don't, I don't know your record. I don't know your old bitches. I don't know none of that. But I do know that you don't, you haven't fucked with nobody in my city. For none of these bitches, none of these niggas to have anything to say. And that, and that's what I would strongly prefer. How does it feel being the rich person? I'm guessing I mean like the rich person in like my life <laughs> like the one with the most money I'm guessing in my life it's like it's not bad like I don't I don't hate it I don't feel like I'll ever people feel entitled to what I have except my fucking father <laughs> my father has been the only person that I've had that has ever felt entitled to the money I make now that's the only person other than that like I don't really feel like that people look for me when they need something. Don't nobody call me. You have to set boundaries when you're the person with money. And I feel like I set those boundaries before I even fucking had money. Because technically, I've always been the one who had the most money in a lot of situations I've been in. Like, I feel like I've always had the most money out of my friends. I've always had the most money out of my family. So, it's not really a... It's not really a thing, but... Only people that can get whatever they want in regards to me is my, my family. My family, I have never been disrespected by my family, like my, my cousins and stuff like that. Not even just like siblings, like my cousins and and shit like that. Like it's never been a point to where I didn't feel like, oh, if they're around, I got them. That's family. I don't really have, oh, that's another question, but... I don't really feel like when it comes to like friends that I am supposed to do anything, but with the friends I have, I do it with because I love those friends. But I don't ever think people make me feel obligated. I don't think people look at me when the check comes and be like, oh, I hope she will. I, somebody was like it in my life. They're no longer in it because let's be for real. They might not have said it, but I got that vibe when something happened. They were like, ooh, I'll, even though I'm having money, I still hope she paid for it. It was like one of those vibes. But I've really, I, I don't mind it. Like, as long as people don't get too out of their motherfucking minds. Cause, but people know me. I be snapping. I do be snapping on motherfuckers. And I do tell people about themselves. And I do say no. I've never in my life been afraid to say no. That's why when I say yes and I do something for you, you better take that shit and you better appreciate it. Because when I say no, it's just no. Like it's, it's never nothing against it. It's never nothing offensive. I just said no in, in, in that moment. I didn't want to do this for you. I feel like some people use certain people as a crutch. And I'm not the person you can use as a crutch. If your life is going down bad, but you out bouncing your ass, having the time of your life, Instead of fucking handling your business, the answer will always be no. So the goal ultimately when you are doing this 
is like when you end off, you have to end it how you see how this track is this close to um the closure, the two by six closure. You want it to make sure it lands in your face, like on the sides like this. Because if it's all the way back here, if you don't put this closure on going up like that, how it was going up, if you don't do it like that, y'all she's gonna be always to the side, your closure gonna be right here, and it's not gonna give it the basically the buzz down middle part it's supposed to give. That, that's that on it. Before you cut this freaking cap down the freaking middle, you gotta sew. Damn. I thought I was recording. My bad, guy. You gotta sew the cap down going around that little piece of lace that was still left. Around the closure, you're gonna just sew. You gotta, you gotta feel around for it because you can't see it. But you're gonna sew the cap down before you cut it out. Because if you don't sew the cap down or glue it or something down before you, um, Cut it out, all this part up here, gonna separate, all right? You don't you don't fucking want that, okay? So you just gonna sew. Sew this part going around. You gotta feel it. You gotta feel it and then sew that cap the fuck down. Okay, so I got that sewn all the way down. Now I'm gonna keep gluing in and then I'm gonna cut it off the top. Something you feel people do not like about you. <laughs> I feel like people do not like at times that I am a realist. Like, I do not feel like everybody will be around forever. I don't believe in relationships, friendships lasting forever. I feel like some people are for certain things in seasons. So when I feel like that I don't feel like people serve purpose in my life, or I feel like they've served their purpose in my life, I feel like it, I do not hesitate to stop dealing with people. And a lot of people don't like that because people feel like, oh, if y'all are so close, if y'all are so cool, you should be able to work things out. You should be able to do this. You should be able to do that. Like... And I feel like that's why people stay stagnant in life. I feel like people who feel like everybody deserves chances to be around them and to and to hang around them. I just feel like you should have, be able to have the option to say, I like you. I love you. But I don't feel like this relationship will not even benefit, but will make sense to the journey, to my next journey. I feel like the, the journey that I was on, this relationship was perfect. But now that I want to do bigger and better things or more things, I don't feel like that you can relate to the the next steps of my life, you know, type shit. And I feel like people don't like that about me. People feel like that. I feel like that kind of makes me seem like a wishy-washy person. And it's not, I'm honestly, I'm truly not wishy-washy. I, I, okay, wait, bitch, I'm, bitch, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a tourist, so I'm, I, I am a little wishy-washy, but if I'm wishy-washy, that's because I am wondering about you in the first place. I'm wondering about you in the first place, and that's honestly why I'm wishy-washy. Oh, this is my last piece. Hold on, let me spread this bitch out. I feel like that's something people don't like about me. Because, like, people, honestly, I, I understand that I'm a good person. I, I'm when I am a great person. I'm a great friend. I'm a great sister. I'm a great daughter. I'm a great cousin. I'm a great all of that. Um, so, but when I feel like that I'm great and you just cool, I be cool on you. And I, and I get people don't like that about me. And I have to let people know that I know we're having fun. And I know this, this, and that, but as soon as I feel like something, a weird energy shift, and that's the, the thing for me is, oh, I'm going to tell you, but I won't tell you twice. So if I feel a way about you at any point in life, I'm going to feel like, um, well, however I feel about you, I'm going to let you know exactly how I feel about you. But once you make me feel like that again, I'm not telling you that I'm basically cutting you off. I don't feel like I have to. Because you did the same shit, you did the same weird shit that maybe give you or your ass a pep talk on what I don't like. You did that shit again. But, um, 
So I feel like that's something people don't like about me. That I, I'm, I'm a realist and I, and I stand on shit. Bitch, I, I be standing on business. Bitch, I, I stand on business harder than any motherfucking body I even know. Because my lace is lifting a little bit. I didn't glue all that down clearly. Uh, I'm going to go back in with my glue to glue. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut it first. my Slay Pro Wax Stick, you know, to slay this shit down. Cause it's only a two by six closure, so I ain't gotta separate shit. I'm just divide it. Next question. How am I always so happy and positive? I don't give a fuck about shit that ain't got shit to do with me. I don't give a fuck about a damn thing that has nothing to do with me. And even when it does have anything to do with me, I don't worry. I'm too I don't worry about anything. When you worry, you stress. I don't stress cuz I'm never fucking worried. When you're worried is because you're thinking about something that that's probably not even in your best interest. When things go wrong, I say, "Oh, that must not have been meant for me." That's it. That's all. And when you think like that, you're happy all the time. Because imagine when you don't get what you want in life. What you gonna do, cry about it? You're mad. Oh, I had a job interview. I didn't get the job. Oh my gosh, no. Nothing is working out for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing is working out for you. Because you didn't get a job that must that job wasn't for you. You didn't get that job because that job wasn't for you. And a lot of things people don't even be ready for. You jump into stuff that you're not even ready for. Oh my gosh, I want to I wanna own a business. I want to own a business. Then when you get into business, what the fuck you mean? I only got one order on launch day. What the fuck you mean? That my, my people not support me. What the fuck you, like, I got to do all that to own a business? I got to get LLC? I got to do passion? I got to have good customer service? Oh my gosh. People think life's supposed to go exactly how they planned it. And people who think like that always think they're supposed to be in control. And when you lose control, you go fucking crazy. And we go crazy, bitch, you're not happy. <laughs> you're not fucking happy. You start worrying about things that you that you wish went this way. Think about the things that did go right. Every time something go wrong, just, just be in your head. Oh, that must not been meant for me. Thanks, God. Thank you. Because sometimes what you want, you going to get. And we get what you want and you find out that's not really what you want. You're going to wish you never had that shit. So every time something go wrong, who I'm glad I didn't get what I probably asked for. Because that would have probably been the worst thing I ever fucking asked for. And that's how I look at life. That shit looking good, y'all. That shit looking good, ain't it? That shit good. Last question. If you had to tell your younger self anything, what would it have been? Nothing. If I could tell her something like right now, I would be like, you knew it, bitch. You knew it, bitch. That's why I, right now I'd be like, bitch, you knew. You knew your life was gonna be exactly like, good, good job. I wouldn't redo anything any other way. At the end of the day, the decision you made is the reason why you have the life you have. If any, if I didn't have a kid, my life would be different. If I didn't go, was it with my baby mama, life would be different. Everything happens for a reason. And all the lessons I've learned along my journey to being exactly who I am, yes, my part crooked is fuck. So what I'll tell my what I would tell my younger self, you did it, bitch. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. These was just basically it was a way. The cones, the cone will be right in the middle. So if we're gonna do it like this first.
I ain't getting anything. I'll be scared to get it in the front because, yeah, I don't need no black spray on my little lace. But I think I'm going to just do this. Hold on, let me do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. We're going to add... I ain't got no edge brush or nothing. Hold on, wait, 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 w